how are we? Welcome back to my channel. It's Anna. Kind of the cow is also here to help introduce this video if you guys don't mind. He felt left out, so he's here now. So, for today's video, I am making a mushroom pillow. Fun, right? So I will link the pattern that I found down below, and of course the yarn and the hook I'm using as well. Um, and it's just gonna be a simple little crochet with me, so if you guys want to make a big pillow, if you guys want to make a small little figurine mushroom, join me. Click on the link come crochet with me. I don't even know. I'm not making sense anymore. I am not making sense. So I'm going to grab my yarn and we are going to start making this mushroom. And I hope you guys can relax and join me and have a nice little time. Okay, let's do this. This is what we have done so far. I have not fastened it off yet, but I will do that as soon as we're finished chatting. I also need to stuff it with polyfill, but this is the base of the octopus and I think the under part to the top. It's much smaller than I thought it would be. I don't really, it's a tiny pattern. I don't really know what I was thinking, um, but it's very cute and I'm, it's actually really easy to make. I breezed through this in maybe like 20 minutes. So now I'm going to go stuff it and then we'll make the top. And then I think we're going to make another one. Maybe we will try to just improv a little? I don't know. Listen. Listen. Whenever I try to do things using a pattern as a reference and kind of going off the rails if I'm not comfortable, it oftentimes doesn't turn out good. But I think this video can use a little bit of entertainment. So we're going to do it. I think. I'm going to try to make a jumbo one to match with baby one. So let's finish this one before we get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> And I need to figure out, let's look at the pattern. Pattern, see what she does to add the little spots. All right, she doesn't specify anything in her tutorial about the spots, but that's okay because it looks like she just glued some little felt circles on. However, I think we're going to attempt to just sew on little, I think I'm gonna make some little white circles and then we start sewing it on and we stuff it as we go the tutorial says and then we are done with tiny little mushroom number one and then i think tomorrow or monday i will come back and do a big one this is going well i think are we having fun i'm having fun i tried to crochet some circles and i just don't like the way that they look so i think i'm gonna go her route and 
glue on some circles however i don't have felt right now so i'll need to go look for that but um for now we are going to sew the top of the mushroom on i mean even without the circles you still get the point so even if i didn't add them but i think we're going to we just haven't gotten there yet and that's fine we'll get there eventually My camera's about to die and I just finished sewing it on, but, um... Yeah. Not our best. Obviously, this doesn't make much sense. I will see you in a little bit when I decide to try to attempt this again. It's been a long time since we had a fail, though, so I'm feeling good. Okay, my camera is seriously about to die. See you in a moment. Okay. It has been a couple of days, but I am now back, and we're gonna attempt the mushroom again, but hopefully it won't turn out as bad as the last one. So, I think we didn't have felt in my house, and I can't leave because I was exposed to someone who had COVID, so I'm not gonna go out to, like, Joanne's or Michael's right now, and I didn't have time to order off Amazon or anything, but, um, we have foam and also a piece of really thin cardboard. So I'm hoping using one of those will work um, in place of felt, but I guess we'll see. I think I'm also going to try to improvise <laughs> the pattern. Um, is that a good idea figuring I couldn't even do it the first time? No, probably not. But we're gonna do it anyways because it's super cute, but the pattern is so small that even with bulky yarn it is still not as big as I want it to be so we're going to slightly detour from the pattern and try to make it bigger. That is what we're gonna try to do and I truly have no idea how this is gonna go and I hope it doesn't look awful because um that'd be a really big bummer but let's get into it because I'm actually excited to see if we can do it this time.
I think this looks good, but we have not gotten to our problem area yet. However, we are going to improvise to hopefully avoid said problem. So obviously we have the base, like the stem, and normally the next thing in the pattern, if you're looking at that, is they tell you to do a bunch of triple crochets all the way around to create the base for the head of the mushroom, which totally makes sense. But I don't feel like hot gluing a piece of foam to the base, and because I ended up making it um, 20 stitches around instead of 15 as they recommend, I don't know how large to make the top of the mushroom anymore so I'm going to instead make another magic circle base for the top of the mushroom and then switch the color to red to make the dome or I might start with red and then make a white base. I think I'm going to do that because I think that's going to be easier. So we're going to do that and then we are going to put the piece of foam on the bottom then to give it more structure. We're going to sew it on tighter and we're also going to stuff it more. And I am hoping between all of these amendments we're making to the pattern, it will not be so floppy and not good as I made it the first time. And I also just want to make this clear. This is in no way do I want to be like attacking towards the person who made this pattern. She made it for tiny little cute keychains um and I bet it works absolutely perfectly for that um I decided to instead go off the rails and use blanket yarn and try to make it bigger to make a pillow so that's mainly on me and not on her and I love her pattern I'm just not sure it's gonna work with what I want to do so we're gonna use it to obviously um base the pillow off of I just wanted to clear that up but now I'm gonna go and we're gonna start making the head of the mushroom We have obviously the red dome done and then I went through and I used the white to crochet all the way around just in the back loops so that it would go flatter. Now we're going to go, we are going to close the piece and then once it gets to kind of close to the end while there's still a good enough sized hole, I'm not sure how this is going to work but we are going to go and put the foam bottom in or we need to like fold it and slip it in. Um, I didn't think this part through <laughs> before doing it, so I'm going to hope that it works. And then of course also stuff it as we go. And then once we get to that, we need to stuff this bad boy and then we can put it together. And I think it would be cute if all goes as planned. And if not, then you guys just watched me fail for like 15 minutes or however long this video is. But we're going to stay optimistic, so um, let's try it out 
and see how it goes. <laughs> Because I didn't have felt, I didn't have anything to make the circles, um, and I don't think I'm going to add them with yarn. So if anything, I would go back and add them with felt afterwards, but um, I'll probably do that another time because, like I said, I do not have any felt at home right now, so that will be a later issue, but for now we just have to sew this together, and I think it is actually pretty darn cute, and it's a pretty good size compared to my head. Is this... Using Anna's head as a form of measurement. <laughs> problem at the base where the head meets the stem 
as the other one. It has better structure and it's a better size than the first one I made. But with that being said, it is still quite floppy. Um, ignore how I haven't tucked in my sewing edges, uh, my sewing ends, I mean, pardon that. But if you guys have absolutely any tips on how I can improve this, leave it down below because you can help me out, you can help other people out who are trying to make different plushes and stuff, and I would be um, so forever grateful because I am honestly quite frustrated. So I'm going to stop here because I cannot think of what else I can do, but maybe I will try to, you know, fix this one a little bit or um, make another one and I'll update you on my Instagram or TikTok because I don't think I'd make another video about it, but you can check out my other social media to see what else I do that I don't post on YouTube. Quick little plug, I'll have them up on the screen and they are always in the description box down below, but I think that is all I'm going to do today because I am slightly frustrated. That's okay, <laughs> I'll figure out how to fix this. Um, hopefully you guys can help me. And I think we are on the right track to finally having the mushroom plush of our dreams. Yes, that is it. That is all I have for today's video. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for some more good vibes and hit that post notification bell if you wanna know every single time I post a brand new video. Make sure to comment something down below. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know what you're doing as you watch this video. Please let me know if you have any tips because I love learning from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very dearly, and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye, everybody.